Welcome to Cuber Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Cuber's WordPress plugin to edit general project settings, default and individual slide and transition settings, and to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides. How to use the Cuber WordPress plugin to edit general project settings. To edit Cuber project, click on Edit Link located in Cuber plugin menu. Manage Cuber sliders page with list of all available Cuber projects will open. Click on edit link in action section of project you want to edit. Edit page for selected project will open. In general settings you can change project name and see the project ID number. You can see that ID number for this project is 8. You can also edit width and height of your Cuber slider. If needed, you can change images and fonts folder locations. General settings in our WordPress plugin allow you to change background properties. You can set transparent background or choose background color. There's also an option to change the background image. You can upload new background image from URL or from your computer. Click on Select Files button and browse for image file you want to use. After the file is uploaded, click on Save All Changes button. You can see that new background image is added to gallery. Click on Insert into Post button to set this image as new background. You can see that background image is changed. If you use Static Shadow or Custom Preloader in your project, you can change their images the same way. You can also choose to force JavaScript version of your slider. If this option is checked, JavaScript version will be displayed even on devices that have Flash installed. In Alternative Content field, you can set content which will be shown when Cuber slider can't be displayed. To make General Settings changes effective, click on Save Changes button. How to use Cuber's WordPress plugin to edit default and individual slide and transition settings. To edit slides, and transition settings of your project through our plugin, go to Edit Project page. Slides and transition settings are below General Settings. There are default and individual slides and transition settings available. Default settings define common settings for all slides and transitions. You can use default slide settings to edit slide size. You can also adjust slides align and offset. Slide settings section contains duration, color, link URL, and link target properties. We will shorten slides duration change their color, and set a link for slides which will be opened in the same window. You can also set link URL and target for description box. In SEO section, you can choose what will be used for auto-generated SEO content. You can include or exclude image, heading, paragraph, and caption text and links. Default transition settings are on the right. Here you can make changes to all transitions properties that are available in C Manager. Settings for individual slides and transitions are below default slides and transition settings.
We will edit settings for second slide and transition pair. In individual slide settings, you can change the slide image. There are options for uploading image from URL or from your computer. We will upload image from the computer. After the file is uploaded, click on Save All Changes button. You can see that the new image is added to gallery. Click on Insert into Post button to use this image on second slide. You can also override default slide settings for duration, color, caption text, link URL, and target properties. Description heading and paragraph text and link for this particular slide description box are also set here. We'll add heading and paragraph text and leave default settings for description box link URL and target. In SEO section, you can choose to include or exclude image, heading, paragraph, and caption text of this particular slide in auto-generated SEO content. You can also add custom SEO text and image alternative text for this individual slide. Transition settings for this particular slide are on the right. Individual transition settings have same properties as default transition settings. By changing them, you will override default settings. If you want, you can also change settings for other individual slides and transitions. To make changes you made to slide and transition settings effective, you need to click on Save Changes button. You can define your default settings and then override them with custom settings for individual slide or transition. By having default settings, you don't need to define each property over and over again. This way, you can change properties that need to be different for each transition or slide in individual settings. How to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides and their paired transitions in Cuber's WordPress plugin. Edit Project page allows you to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides and their paired transitions. You can find slide and transition pairs below general settings. To add new slide or transition pair, click on Add Slide and Transition button. You can see that new slide and transition pair is added, so Slider now has nine slides. You can set image and change other properties for new slide and transition pair as explained in previous chapter. To reorder slides, click on desired pair and hold. Drag it to its new position and then release mouse button. The slide that was last is now fourth in slideshow order. To duplicate a pair, click on duplicate link in that pair's row. You can see that copy of third slide is added to slideshow as the tenth slide. To delete slide from your slideshow, click on Delete Link in its row and confirm that you want it deleted. After you finish working with slides and transition pairs, click on Save Changes button. You can now see the changes by clicking on Preview button for Flash version of Slider or Preview JS button for JavaScript version. Thank you for watching Cuber Video Tutorials.